by the early 14th century, the city of Pisa was thriving. In 1325, the Church of Santa Croce was built on the foundations of a hundred-year-old convent in the suburb of Fossabanda, just outside of the 200-year-old fortified city walls. Renovated and expanded over the following centuries, Santa Croce became a meeting place for weary travelers and for scholars seeking enlightenment. In late 2012, an unusual scientific gathering took place in Santa Croce. What set these scientists apart from others is the way they treat each other. This is a group that really enjoys working together. They greet each other like old friends, stay in touch over social media, and collaborate before, during, and after their annual gathering. Their joy in working together is clear throughout their time together. There may be two reasons for this unusual working relationship. Gareth Jones and Martha Larson had that kind of community in mind from the very beginning. <laughs> so uh, medieval is a multimedia benchmark. And a benchmark is an exercise where we invite people to come and participate in common tasks. So we release them data and we release them, we decide evaluation metrics and then they come and have a go and see how well they can do and we compare the results afterwards. In Medieval we look at multimedia data, so that's images, video, speech, audio, and our tagline is the multi and multimedia. So we emphasize the different uh, modalities. And what sets Medieval apart is that we look at social and human aspects of multimedia. What is the relevance of the algorithms for people in their daily lives and what do they use them for? And our secondary objective is to build a community, a community of people who are interested in research in, in this area. We want to reach out to senior academics or senior researchers from industry, to junior researchers, to, uh, to, to beginning students, to senior students, to bring them together to share their experiences. So, sort of fostering and building a community. It's the community that makes it work. And what a community it is. People from around the world, speaking more than a dozen languages, have come together to work and to have fun. There's a feeling of spontaneity in the air, and even though the work being presented is academically rigorous to the highest international standard, every single presentation includes laughter. It's as though these scientists and artists have found some kind of formula missing from so many other workshops and conferences. Students and professors are laughing together. People from industry are laughing with academics. The only thing as pervasive as the sound of laughter is the respect they all show for each other. The work and the laughter continue on into the night. Early each morning, they're at it again. Meeting, planning, sharing ideas, and laughing. In some ways, they are like an extended family that only gathers once a year. There's a holiday excitement to everything they do, and it's clear that this gathering means a lot to them. <laughs> Unfortunately, all holidays come to an end, 
and all families end up saying goodbye. They have their own lives waiting for them, their own work and studies, their own research. But the collaborations of this meeting live on in publications and in new benchmarks for the multimedia community. Besides, they're not really saying goodbye. They're saying see you next year.